there, Hunter here, and today I wanna walk you through the five best exercises that are gonna help you burn belly fat, but before we hop into that, I wanna make sure that you watch through the entire five exercises because at the end, I have an extra piece for you that's extremely important. You see, you can't just burn belly fat by doing exercises. You can, of course, tone the muscle. You can define the muscles by working them, but to see more definition and to actually burn fat, there's another piece that you really need to focus on. It's actually the main piece in getting the results that you want. So stay till the end. Without further ado, here are the five exercises that are gonna help you see the definition that you wanna see in the stomach area. In the low impact burpee, I'm gonna have you drop down into a squat before you put your hands on the ground in front of you, directly below your shoulders, and then step out with one leg at a time. After that, you're gonna return back to that squat position, jump up, and clap overhead. In the dumbbell thruster, I'm gonna have you hold two dumbbells with the palms facing towards each other and your elbows tucked in tight to your body. From here, I'm gonna have you drop your butt like you're sitting into a chair and then pushing your feet through the floor, through the center of your foot as you raise the hands overhead. In the commando, you're gonna start in a high plank position with your hands stacked directly below your shoulders. You're gonna have your feet out wide to create core stability. From here, you're gonna inhale your elbows down, exhale up, and then keep that back nice and flat. In the jump squat, you're gonna drop down into a squat, then explode up into the air, landing on the balls of your feet softly, and then finally onto your whole foot. The starfish crunch is a great exercise to engage your upper and lower abs, what we're gonna do is start in a starfish position with your head resting on the floor. From there, you're gonna take one arm and reach it to your alternating toe, beginning the movement by crunching your core and moving your upper back off the floor. You're gonna alternate sides. Wait, don't leave yet. The most important part of the video is coming up right now. You see, nutrition is an even bigger component of what it takes to burn fat and tone up your stomach. So I'm gonna dive into why nutrition is so important right now. So nutrition is extremely important because it controls how much food you're consuming. And there is a thing you've probably heard of before called calories in, calories out, right? So you're exerting your calories throughout the day as you move your body, as you digest food, as you just be alive. It takes a lot of energy to run this machine of ours. So if you want to burn belly fat, you want more calories to go out than to go in. This phenomenon is called a calorie deficit. So you can create a calorie deficit in a lot of different ways. You can exercise and move more. You can cut out entire food groups. Like carbs. I'm looking at you keto people. Or you can simply just lower the amount of food that you eat overall and not try and cut out any single food group. Here's the reality is I sit down with a lot of people who come into the gym who are looking to make a change. It's too often that one of them will say, Hunter, I've lost 100 pounds, but it's been the same 20 pounds every time. I've gained 20 pounds, I've lost 20 pounds, and it's been a repeated cycle over the past five years. I just want to lose it once and then maintain it. So that is what we, the problem that we're trying to solve here at Hybrid Fitness is getting you the result, helping you get to where you wanna be and then maintain it. Keep it forever, baby. So keep in mind, everything I'm about to tell you is for the long term. There, this is gonna go against a lot of what you've heard because most fitness marketers out there are trying to make money. Oh no, is Hunter going on a rant right now? Yes, I think he is. By giving you big promises that yes, may get you results in the short term, but are not gonna be the best for you in the long term. A very good guideline to start with to be, be in a calorie deficit is one, I just want you to start tracking, right? So start tracking your food in a food diary, get a good idea and awareness about what you're putting in your body. Now just by keeping track of the food that you're eating on a day-to-day -day basis is going to increase and heighten your awareness and you're gonna immediately eat better and you might lose weight just doing that. Woo, woo. But once you've done that for a little bit, step two is you can actually hone in your calorie deficit by looking at your height and your weight on a BMI chart. So if you look up BMI chart onto Google, It'll give you a graph and it will say, here's like the healthy weight, here's the obese, here's the uh, overweight. So look for one of the, uh, the recommended weights for your height and weight within the healthy range. Choose one that you feel like would be a good fit for you. If you tend to be somebody who's bigger bone, bigger structure, you're probably really strong. Then you might wanna go on the higher end of the BMI healthy weight. If you're somebody who tends to be a smaller bone structure, you probably kick butt at the cardio. Then you can go a little bit lower or you can go somewhere in between. And you're just gonna take the weight 
that is recommended and you are going to multiply it by 10 to 12 and you're going to get a range of a healthy calorie range that's going to put you in a deficit so for example if it says your healthy weight for your height is 150 or you multiply 150 by 10 it's going to give you 1500 calories now you're going to do the same thing you're just going to multiply 150 but by 12 this time what does that come to i don't know let's say 1700 i don't know if the math is exact so that would give you a, a range for a calorie deficit of 1500 to 1700 calories now if you're consistent with that you're going to see progress and you're going to lose fat now it's not just going to get lost in your belly you're gonna lose fat all over your body your genetics and your hormones are what determine where you actually lose the fat but it's not a thing that's really in your control but if you will so lose body fat in your stomach another thing is don't just look at the weight actually take a measuring tape and put it right around your belly button and go around and measure it measure it three times and take the average then I want you to do the same thing right around your hips which would be actually you would line it up in the middle of your butt cheeks, take it three times, find the average, get those measurements, and then do it again in one month. That's gonna be another indicator on if you're losing value fat or not. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found value in it, go ahead and click the like button below. Any questions, of course, leave in the comments. There are no bad questions. And finally, if you would like to really hone in on your nutrition, just like we talk about in this video, I have a guide for you, a free nutrition guide that's gonna show you and walk you through step-by-step step how you can track your food very accurately it's a good deal and save you the most time if you build those long-term habits but also just help you get the results you want so i have a free guide no brainer go ahead and click the button below in the comments and it will take you there simply fill out your information uh, and i'll send it to you for free thanks for watching peace